So there are three things that I'm slightly worried about for this camera. One is the battery. This camera has actually been repaired before. I bought this with the intention of using it for my Christmas and New Year holidays. But the day before my flight, when I was charging this for the first time, it actually stopped working. So I left the charge for a good few minutes and when I came back for it, there's just nothing being shown on the screen. So, you know, I can't, I can't switch it on. I can't charge it. I tried different plugs, I tried different cables and to no avail. It just doesn't work. So I had to rush down to the DJI service center here in Singapore to find out what's wrong with it. And sure enough, it just stopped working. They tried to charge it, different, use different cables, different plugs, and it just doesn't work. So the conclusion was they need to send it to DJI China. And the worst thing was that was the first time I charged it. So it was basically, you know, fresh from the box. And yeah, so I wasn't able to use it for my overseas trip. I had to wait around five weeks to get it back. So five weeks later, I received a message from DJI that it was ready for collection. So yeah, so I got it back and everything's fine now, but the battery is something that I'm scared of. So, you know, because, because it happened before and you know, I won't be so surprised if it happens again. The second thing that I'm worried about is the gimbal parts. So I know this was meant to be a pocketable camera, but you know, this is something that I can't just squeeze inside my pocket after shooting because this part of the camera seems a little fragile. So that's what I'm worried about. I already ordered a silicone case that will actually cover this part so that when I put it inside my bag or my pouch, it wouldn't be so exposed. Third thing that I'm worried about, and this is something that I've seen cases before, is the broken screen. I have seen photos and videos of people posting a broken screen where this screen is no longer able to you know, close properly or open properly. And when I was in the service center, um, the guy actually told me that there were two other cases. The damage was not similar to mine, but because of the screen. So yeah, it's just something to take note of, you know, that it happens, the screen can be broken. It's not the most durable thing. If you want something durable, we could have gone for the DJI Osmo Action 4. I believe this camera needs a bit more care. I'm still positive about this camera, but you know, I haven't used this, I haven't bought this outside. I have an overseas trip coming by the end of the month, so hopefully I can use this and try out and you know, see what it can do. So yeah.